What's up? I'm known as King Deshaun on YouTube. And when I'm not editing and uploading my own videos, you can catch me watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. T.J.V. Yeah, baby. Well, I've been busy this morning already. I'm back here at the Chevron. Yes, I said back here. Because I've been busy getting this trailer unloaded. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to go right to the back. We're going to go right back here. Look at that. So we have nothing but sailboat fuel and motorcycle doors on the trailer today. But I have a reload. Did I tell you yesterday already? No, I didn't because they came in in the middle of the night. We have a reload that I got to pick up right now in Abbotsford, which is that way. Back west a little bit. That's taking us to Calgary. Got to unload first thing tomorrow morning. It's going to be a bit tight, but I'm going to make it work. And then tomorrow, it's going to be just as tight because we have to be in Sundra, Alberta to load a load of lumber taking us home. And we got to be there in Sundra before noon. And we lose an hour going into the mountain time zone from the Pacific time zone. So we don't have a lot of time to chit chat. We gotta get moving. Let's see if we can get out of this parking lot first. There's our Ford guys sending it. Keep going across, let's see. Can we get out here? Whoop. Mr. Idaho. Idaho, you to hoe. Let's go, nope, car coming, car. Coming from the right. This is a one way that we're trying to get onto to turn left. I could have made it, I should have gone. Should have gone. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. I don't know how it goes. Oh, now we got a parade here just for us. We'll call it the Trucker Josh Parade. Quick, he's trying to get on the road. Everybody, move now, places. I only had one strap over all of that. Wow. I never used to notice other people's strapping jobs until I became a flatbed driver. Now I look at some, the way some people secure their loads and I'm just like, eek. Can I go now? Please? No, still people coming. Come on, Fard, step on it. I know you're trying your best. Come on. Come on, Fard. There you go. I'm going for it. Okay, here we go. Sending it. You gotta get back onto the Trans Canada. So we're turning left up ahead here. 42 kilometers from here. I'm going to uh, pick up some pipe or something like that, and I've got to tarp it. Or I've got to wash it when I get to Calgary. And I have a feeling that I'm not going to have time tomorrow morning to wash it, so we're just going to tarp it. So that's fun. Welcome to winter, right? Everything gets dirty in the winter, and nobody wants their freight dirty. Turn left on 88th Avenue. We gotta get through the mountains tonight yet. It's a nine hour drive to Calgary. So, whew. It's gonna be a long night. Are we gonna make the green light? Are we gonna make the green light? Come on, big money. Even Karen's rooting for, oh, we didn't make it. So, like I was saying, it's some kind of pipe. Motorcycles in January in Canada. Wow. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, this pipe. I, I don't know what exactly uh, we're going to be or what it's going to look like. I just hope it's going to be easy to tarp. This yard is very long and narrow on the side of a mountain. Gotta go all the way to the end of it, turn around and go all the way back and get ready to get loaded. They said, don't tarp it, wash it. Okay. All right, they gave me a list of a truck uh, truck wash I can go to in the morning. They open at 6 a.m. You want me to wash your freight for you? I'll wash your freight for you. You want me to put a bow on it for you? I'll put a bow on it for you. 
I'm serious. I don't care. They, as long as they're happy. Hey, if I can make them happy and they call me again, want me to haul some more stuff out of here, I'm happy. You can't always get good freight coming out of here going west. I mean, sometimes you got to settle for less. But uh, the biggest thing is you want them to be happy. And as long as the, the freight pays enough to, you know, compensate for the wash, obviously. But the bow, that's free of charge. I'll put a bow on it for you if you want to. Nice big Christmas bow. Biggest, biggest one I can find at Walmart. You're gonna have to put it in the directions though that you want me to put a bow on it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna do it. I don't do it for everybody. That's a special privilege for special customers. <laughs> customers that give me cookies. <laughs> I had a shipper in Edmonton that I that I go to just before Christmas. They gave me a whole bunch of Christmas cookies. They're not my favorite shipper. I have been bought. Okay, so right where that guy is there, that's where I want to go. That's where I'm going to be uh, loading. So I want to stay out of their way. Oh, we hang out right around here. Mm -hmm. That's good to me. If you look where he's taking them, that's the truck right there they're loading right now. I hope they're not gonna load me up that high, but I'm guessing they probably are, because why not? That's probably why they don't want me to tarp it. That'd be very dangerous getting up on top of all of that. So whatever, easier for me, you know. As long as I can get into this truck wash at 6 a.m., there's like the big bucket car and truck wash or the great white car and truck wash. They, uh, they gave me this, so it's, uh, Hours of operation, their phone numbers and stuff, and the place where I can stay, Flying J, right around where the customer is. So that's nice. I'm gonna go sleep right by one of these. I think this one, because this one opens at 6 a.m. That one only opens at 7. I'm gonna go to Big Bucket Car and Truck Wash. I guess I should give them a call now, see if I need an appointment or if I can just show up and hose her down. But, yeah, I guess they don't want me up on top of all this stuff. It makes sense. Like, I don't want to climb on top of all this stuff if they're gonna load me up as high as that. Like, look at that be nuts so yeah we'll just wash it okay he's already lined up and ready to load me up stuff would be super easy to tie down then sweet gotta get right inside this little box here and right there okay beautiful all loaded up we're here in hope british columbia a new truck stop coming up here. I think it's gonna be an SO Husky. Cool. We're going to the Flying J. We're gonna get us our fancy, fancy fresh ground bean coffee. I still haven't found another truck stop that serves that, but I'm, I'm sure I'm just, I haven't noticed it yet. If they start serving it, I'll start buying it. It's a whole new, it'll change your life if you haven't tried it yet. Fresh ground coffee. Mm. Mind blasting, as Russell Peters would say. So I'll show you the load here once we stop. We're actually a lot heavier than I thought we would be. Turn left on Flagover Road. We're uh, sitting at about 80,000 pounds gross. Our trailer would be a little bit heavy to cross into the U.S. We're about a thousand pounds over uh, for U.S. standards. For Canadian standards, we're still doing fine. We're still legal. In pounds, I'm probably sitting at about 34,000 pounds on my drive axles in the back of my truck, 12,000 on my steers up front, and on my trailer, I'm sitting at about, well, it was 16.4 kilograms. So, uh, 1,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds, probably sitting at about 36,000 pounds on my trailer, a little heavier than my drives, which I would prefer uh, my drives to be heavier, but that's the way it worked out. And I'm in a hurry, I don't really care. We need to get to Calgary now. Because we gotta deliver this tomorrow morning and we gotta wash it. I'm actually going to the Great White Truck Wash in Southeast Calgary. I don't know if you guys have heard it before. It's new, I haven't been there yet. It's an automatic truck wash. Apparently it's the only one of its kind in Canada. You just drive through it and in six minutes, your truck is perfectly clean. Well, that's what they say. <laughs> that's what they say. But we'll, uh, we'll go and try it out tomorrow. Uh, they open at 7 a.m., so we'll be there when the, when the bell whistles. Ready for, uh, ready for the show. 
Never been through an automatic truck wash before. Fascinating. Oh, I didn't even see this bus pull up in here. I was gonna show you the load a little bit from a distance, but this is what we're working with. Lots of pipe. Get out of here. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. He's pounding down. We can't, uh, or I shouldn't, shouldn't say can't, but we don't always have to rush like this. In 600 meters, take the entrance to the left on Highway 1, Highway 3, Highway 5, Trans Canada Highway. Wow. Yeah, not every trip is this rushed. Not very many at all actually are, but we're gonna stretch it out as much as we legally can on this one. We have to get there as soon as possible because we gotta unload first thing tomorrow morning. And we're heavy. It's gonna it's gonna take a little while to pull this load over the mountains. In 300 meters, take the entrance to the left on Highway 1, Highway 3, Highway 5, Trans Canada Highway. That's a mouthful. Why don't we just call it Trans Canada Highway? I guess because actually Highway 5 isn't the Trans Canada. Trans Canada is a two lane, but the, the 5 is a big freeway that they built, but it's used as the Trans Canada. It's confusing, it's complicated. I could have made it. I could have just gone, but I'm a nice guy. There we go, over the mountains the other side. Back to the prairies.
too long ago at the bottom. It was still summertime. Now look at this. Still climbing. That is one steep mountain road. See all the trucks on the other side going down just as slow as I'm going up? That's the way to do it. Never go down the mountain faster than you went up the mountain. Take her easy. I mean, you do have more traction when you're heavier. That's true. But also, if your tires suddenly do lock up and you got lots of weight on you, you're double up that creek. <laughs> gear finally. Yikes. How the climate changes so quickly. It's just amazing. Not too sure of the exact altitude or uh, elevation right now. I mean, but we're slightly higher than we were before. We'll say that. Man, this pipe is a lot heavier than I thought it was. I thought this would be a nice light load over the mountains. Nay, nay. We're heavy. Why is that truck tailgating that SUV so much? Dude, what are you doing? Look, he's almost touching his bumper. What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? You're supposed to be a professional driver. You know better than that. Tow truck driver of all things. Just about putting someone in the ditch. Another one bit the dust over there. Old Nissan Pathfinder. So this, everybody, if you had not figured it out already, this is our highway through hell. Any of you watch that TV show? I don't got TV at home, so I don't. I haven't actually watched much of it, but that is based on this highway right here. I've never actually seen them filming here anywhere. I always miss it. But. This is the famous one. We're getting close to the summit now. And we gotta go down, 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 all the way to Kamloops, and then wind our way through the Rockies all the way out to Alberta. We'll be there tonight yet, it's just gonna be late. And I'll have just enough time, if nothing goes wrong, just enough time to get my sleep, Wake up, wash the truck, wash the load. I'm gonna wash the truck right away too. I wanna check out this automatic truck wash. It's gonna be awesome.